Bro. Bro. Wrong muscles. Those muscles. The start to our sauce for our mussels is equal parts dark beer and Worcestershire sauce, or as I like to call it, W sauce. We're just going to bring that to a real slow simmer and reduce it. The beer we chose was the Porter from Founders Brewing Company out of Grand Rapids, Michigan. So while we've got that reducing, we're going to take half a pound of bacon, and all I did was cut this up into tiny little strips. It would be helpful to add your bacon to a hotter pan than the one I had. But we're just going to slowly cook the bacon as well. We're not trying to fully cook it or anything. We're just trying to get awesome flavor out of the bacon. Once we've rendered a good amount of bacon fat, we're going to add half of a Spanish onion. You can chop it or slice it, julienne it, whatever you want to do. And in addition, one tablespoon of minced garlic. Now we're not trying to cook the living crap out of this. We're just sweating it, getting it happy, get the juices flowing. Once our onions start to caramelize, we're going to add some of our sauce mixture. Let that simmer for a minute. Just want to make sure all the flavors get spread throughout that sauce and makes it delicious. Now since we're not really boiling these mussels to cook them or steaming them, we don't want a ton of liquid in our pan. So I'm going to start putting our rinsed mussels in the pan, spread them out evenly, get the rest of our sauce in there, quick toss, and put your lid on. Quick peek, as you can see, we have some mussels starting to pop open. Now we're just going to add our remaining ingredients, two big handfuls of baby spinach, and two chopped up super cold sticks of butter. We're just going to throw our lid on real quick, let that steam up, wilt that spinach down and melt the butter. Quick toss. It's okay if you spill some, it's part of the recipe. And to finish these babies, we've got a third cup of blue cheese crumbles. Now we're not going to put the lid back on, we're just going to let this melt on its own. Give it a quick little mix up, and you are ready to serve. Wow.